Hi, this is David with entry 600. 6? 607? 605? 606. I'm um, here on Waosan Street in the kind of behind the really busy area of Hongdae. Directly behind me is a uh, is the area called Sangsu. So this area is technically I think part of Hongdae, but it's kind of like a little bit quieter. Well, it was, but uh, it kind of like got really popular last year, so it's ruined, of course. Uh, kind of wanted to talk about that, but it's kind of I don't know how uh, to really properly mm, describe it, but it's kind of like this thing where something is unique or special in some way. And we feel as like people, the need to like to like feel special too. So we go and like experience it or whatever, and we do it like a couple times, and then you tell like your friends, oh yeah, this is really cool, really, like. and so then they they go and then kind of like. Uh, like it expands like really fast and so a lot of people start going and it becomes what's known as popular right and and then you kind of finally enough people go and that popular thing that was once like special and unique becomes the opposite and it's destroyed what was once special and nice and quaint becomes just like everywhere else and, it, and it, you know it's, it's an annoying thing I think because you know I don't know like and it's a double-edged sword of course because you have like these this special thing and you kind of you know you want it to be successful but you know it's through um, kind of our own uh, I don't know greed or selfishness or whatever um, it's destroyed. Uh, there's places like this area, Hongdae, that was once like a very niche art community uh, fueled by the university, the art university, and it was it was like a really kind of like hip area, even as short as seventy five or seven years ago, and it was completely destroyed. It's not like that anymore. It's completely commercial, and you had places. Um, you know, around all over Seoul that were once like these special little um, things that are now commercial uh, pieces, chess pieces that are used for like, you know, profit. And I get like how, you know, most things can't be run just on their kind of specialness or uniqueness that everything, everyone has to make money, there has to be profit, there has to be some kind of motivation there. But, um, for some reason we feel like, or at least in Korea, or I think it's kind of a human thing, that everything gets destroyed by our kind of desire to experience that kind of like unique feeling or whatever. And it, it's sad, really. And it's kind of like an inevitable consequence of being human. It's what's known as a frailty, I believe frailty of the frailties are like innate inborn kind of uh, inequities that we are born with from just being simply being human and you know, that's kind of like a, a Catholic concept or whatever but I think it's one the concept of a frailty frailties is something that I think rings rings pretty true for most of us for most humans in general is that there are these kind of innate innate problems that kind of just occur because we're human and I don't really know how to describe it any better than that where it's just like there's no real reason but we kind of force these situations to occur when there's like no good reason for them to by being by just acting on our kind of desires or whatever naturally occurring desires we ruins things. We, um, you know, there was a place 
there's a place in the U.S. in San Francisco called the Mission District, and it was ruined. Well, it's on the way to being ruined. Brooklyn, New York, ruined, <laughs> arguably. Um, places like Soho that were once kind of like, kind of like rich, nouveau rich kind of things, were kind of ruined, I suppose. And you know, it's great that these businesses and areas kind of get a lot of cash influx but at what cost so it's kind of like these things that I always kind of think about when I tell people about things other things is that you know like how much exposure do I really want to give this this special thing that I have because look look at this on the border <laughs> on the border and you know like how much um, exposure do I want to give something because selfishly I want to keep it small so it stays cool and like nice but I also realize that you know like if no ads or whatever no no kind of um, uh, PR stuff occurs then it's gonna go under and get go away so you know for me these are the kind of things that I uh, sadly burn calories about fretting over so anyway, I'll wrap it up there. Thanks for watching and I'll talk with you in a couple of days. Bye.